they, they, the federal government, they know I'm not guilty. My only guilt is that I'm fighting for my people. And I will fight for them. For justice and fairness and equity everywhere. Section 2, subsection 3F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act. That's what it says. To any court considered to try me is committed an act of terrorism. But I did not jump in. My home was invaded. They came to kill me and I survived. They came to Kenya to kidnap me, brought me back to this country and seeking to try me, which the law says cannot happen. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and then hope to stand on that illegality to conduct a crime is not done anywhere in the world. Because I'll defeat them. In this court, I'll defeat the government of Nigeria. Yeah. The whole world will see it. What is the um, feasible fellow? What is it? It's All these years, John, this is feasible treason, treason. What is treason today? He's gone. The same way this um, <laughs> tourism charge will go. Huh? Our family is based on four cardinal points. You must deal without fear before your enemies. You must speak the truth always, even if it leads to your death. You must help the poor and those who cannot help themselves and be of good character that God may love thee. That's who we are. called Mazi Nambikano is a man with pure and clean hearts. He hates intimidation. He hates injustice. He dislikes anything that will be against the poor. He loves freedom. He don't like or want to hear anything intimidation. Now, Nigerian government tried to intimidate him. They kidnapped him from Kenya and brought him to Nigeria. Now is a bone hooking there on their throat. They don't know what to do. They've labeled him terrorist, labeled him or whatever. But all those things, they couldn't find him guilty. 
Now, allow him to go. They're still holding this innocent man. Trying to cause problem in their own country as they disobey obeying their own law. How can a country disobey its own law and holding an innocent man captive? We pray that God Almighty we fight this injustice that's happening in Nigeria in daily basis. Nanikano must be free. 